Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm finally doing my review on the beautiful Lady Dior. Mine is in the supple calfskin with the um, champagne gold hardware and it is in the medium size. And oh my gosh, I'm telling you guys, this is by far my best, best purchase of 2019. I have used this bag so, so much. I love it so, so much. I find it so practical, so useful goes with everything and the reason I hesitated about the Lady Dior before was because I thought it was a little bit too dressy I thought it was too ladylike but I have found that this actually works with so many outfits just casually which is the way I dress all the time it works amazing but then when you hold it with the top handle and you um, have you know a suit or something on it still looks amazing and ladylike and it works it works so well with everything so I'm telling you this is one of the best bags ever to get and I feel like the medium size is the perfect size for everyday use it's not too small it's not too big and it looks great crossbody so I couldn't recommend this highly enough um, so let's go right into it um, I'm gonna do the measurements first and I do have a tape measure here it is about nine and a half inches wide, about eight inches tall. It is um, five inches on the bottom and three inches on the top, so it does taper up. But it's it's very wide. It's wide enough that you could fit almost everything that you would ever need during the day in there. Um, let's see it does come with the flap closure for this style and i do want to give you some information on that so lady dior's in the medium size have always in the classic line have always come with the zippered closure if you're not a, you know not very familiar it has like it's sealed up in the top and sewn down on all four sides and there's a zipper that you open and close to get gain access and it's very cumbersome. It's very tight opening, so your hands um, scratch, get scratched on the zipper all the time when you put your hands in and out. And then your SLGs also tend to um, touch the sides, and so that's something that, especially when the bag is new, it happens more. And that's something that people have always complained about, about the Lady Dior, and my essay has just informed me that they are now going to discontinue the zipper. So all Lady Dior's are now gonna come with a flap, and I think that is brilliant. And I feel like if you have been hesitating to get one because of that, they are releasing them all with the flaps very soon, and so, yeah, just hold on a little bit longer and you'll be able to get a brand new one in the boutique with the flap closure. Currently, the flaps are only for like special ones, not the classic lambskin. So like this one, because it's in the supple calf skin, um, it came with the flap closure. And then I believe the ultra mats also come with the flap closure. But, you know, some not all people love that look of that ultra mat, you know, hardware. And so, yeah, that's even though it does come with the flap, I feel like some people did not really like that look. Um, and then I know that the small one, which is the ABC Dior comes with the flap and then the minis also come with the flap. So now finally the classic mediums will now finally come with the flap as well. And so I'm really, really excited about that. And I did want to let you guys in on that information. So this bag is, um, it also has the suede interior and I don't, uh, I believe the the classic Lady Dior's come with the fabric interior and it has like the canache pattern on it as well. Um, but this one, um, it was special. Um, it was just a seasonal thing. And so it came with the suede and it's so luxe. And even with the suede, it's not very heavy. It's so soft and so like cushiony and just so puffy. Amazing, right? And then the bottom they did not use the suede on the bottom. It's just the same um, calf skin as the exterior, which I think is brilliant again, because, you know, suede leaves a lot of marks and I can see a lot of dust and dirt getting accumulated on the bottom. Whereas because the bottom is the, the calf skin, can you kind of see? Yeah, it's, it's much easier to clean up. And then the suede as well, if it gets dirty, you just need to get some like scotch tape or something and just like, you know, kind of, you know put some tape against it and then pick up all the dirt so again i love this and so there's a slip pocket in the front like this 
there is a zipper pocket in the back and I just put my authenticity card and careful clip in there. It says Christian Dior Paris made in Italy over there. It has the rings um, and then the Dior charm is attached to the rings right here. And this ring is actually fixed like so it will not um, move around and so it keeps the the charms at a location where it's supposed to be and it looks most beautiful which i think is brilliant again like i said dior put a lot of thought into this bag and every every detail of it i i totally appreciate what they have done um also the handles do not um do not like slouch down because these um only pivot slightly and they don't move they are pretty much fixed in this upright position which is amazing again so when you're holding a top handle when you um do drop the handles it will come out to here it will not lay completely flat however when you have the strap and you're wearing it with the strap the strap will actually um help hold these handles up so that they don't flop down and i will show you so this bag because again it was a seasonal and it it was a special version of the Lady Dior. It came with this wide guitar strap, which again, amazing because of the puffier quilts. Um, and here's what the underside looks like. I mean, it's just so comfortable, especially this wide strap. And you guys know you that everybody's coming out, every um, luxury brand is coming out with these wide straps because they are just so much more comfortable. Um, the hardware is this beautiful champagne gold and um, it's different from the classics. The classics have a narrower strap with just like a a lobster clasp on it, but this one has a different clasp that um, that is a lot bigger. It's this Dior here on the front and the back, um, and it is a bit heavy, but it doesn't. It's not to the point that it's really um, bothersome. So they tell you in the store that you're supposed to clip one to the opposite side of the charm, and then clip to the other side and carry it like this. So when I do carry it um, on my shoulder, this is how I like to carry it. However, when I do it crossbody, um, I find that the you know bag looks like this and the charms are towards the back and you don't really get a good look at it. So I actually, when I wear it crossbody, I like to put the um, strap, attach it where the charms are and it's fine. I, it doesn't clash or anything and it just you know i like having it you know towards the front of my body so you can really see the charms and yeah i think that's beautiful that way as well and as you can see because the straps are attached and because the straps kind of pull it up the, the um, handles don't flop out at all and they stay upright like that so again brilliant design and how to do this so yeah um, i'm gonna take the straps off because it's easier to handle without them but again, capacity-wise, this bag is amazing. So I did bring out some other bags to show you. Um, here is the Pochette Matisse, and they are very, very similar in size. The Dior is slightly taller. Okay, do I have it centered? Yes, I do. So the Dior is slightly taller, um, and oops, the bottom is slightly wider. But um, if you guys have the pochette Matisse, you guys know that when you put stuff in here, it does expand a little bit um, accordion style. So it does expand out, but from the beginning, this is a little bit wider. So I feel like I am, I can put just a little bit more into the medium size Lady Dior, which again, I absolutely love, but they are very, very similar in um, how they look when you wear it crossbody. I mean, they don't stick out is what I'm trying to say. And then um, what you can fit inside. So very, very similar. I did also bring out my Chanel reissue in the 226 size because again, they are pretty similar in size. The Lady Dior is just a little bit taller. And then obviously it's gonna be wider because um, the 226 reissue is not very wide, but yeah, I think they have a similar, um, I guess size-wise, they, they are comparable. Um, I, again, the 226 does not fit as much as the Pochette Matisse, and it definitely does not fit as much as the Medium Lady Dior. But when you're wearing it, I feel like you would say that these are very um, similar size bags. So the final bag I brought out to 
compare for you guys is the Gabriel backpack and this is in the small size and as you can see these are very very similar in height width wise again the Gabriel is very similar just a little more narrow but because this bag tapers in like this it does fit a lot less like you don't have this much <laughs> you know um, space because it does cinch up like this but I cannot wait to show you my review on this bag as well because I've been using it not as a backpack but um, a different way which I will share with you guys and oh my gosh I love it so so much so yeah this is my beautiful Gabrielle backpack which I love so to finally show you guys what actually fits inside I brought out all the SLGs that I normally carry or normally want to carry with me depending on bags I will take one or two things out but this is what I like to carry and first would be my mini pochette this is basically my junk drawer I put everything in here and just pop it in my bag and then I do a lot of times just keep it open because I just use it kind of as an organizer more than an SLG that you know to secure items in so it will fit in sideways like this so if I do want to keep it open I can just put it in there like this and that works just fine another item I like to carry with me all the time is my um, O case in the mini and um, this has come out in the small size and I have just been drooling over that so yeah I can't wait to see a color and a pattern that I really like because I am kind of drawn to the chevron in the mini o case so yeah I'm, I'm still watching to see if like they come up with something fabulous and maybe I'll add a small size to my collection but yeah this currently this is the only o case that I have and I have these like like credit card slot things they're made of cardboard and I just put them in there and organize that way and again this works really good um, next is my PM agenda from Louis Vuitton in the Damier Resort I think it looks beautiful in the Damier Resort I just love this and I'm very old school I'm very old <laughs> so I am old school I like to write things down I don't like to have them all on the phone I like to see them like open up in front of my eyes and in my handwriting and it yeah yeah that's just how I am so I love to carry this with me um, so I will put that all the way in the back and the, all these SSGs will actually um, you can put them in vertically as well so yeah whatever you prefer and then I carry all my extra cards in this beautiful Chanel zip coin case and the caviar on this oh, just love so so much and I'll put that in there um my card holder yes i've been using this love this so so much um and i actually like to put my card holder in this front pocket just because it's so much easier like when you have the flap closed like this it's still out there so it's easy but then if you think about it it's not as secure in this pocket so i don't know if i'm being smart having my credit cards here but that's oh can you see that yeah but that's what i do <laughs> But if you wanted to just put it in the main compartment with everything else, that's perfectly doable as well. I have a clay, which I don't carry this with me all the time, but I just had it. So I figured I'll just put it in there just to show you. Now in Bastia, I have this coin purse, which I use as a wallet. I put my bills in here, folded in half, and I don't care if, if the bills get curled, which they do when you um, close it. Perfect, perfect, perfect wallet. Love it. And um, if you guys are curious about this and the round coin purse by Louis Vuitton, I do have a comparison video that um, shows you the differences and why I prefer this one over the round coin purse. So I put my Bastia in there. And this would also fit sideways if I wanted to, but I just, yeah, don't, don't like the hassle, so I don't. So that's that. Um, oh, my phone. I'm filming on my phone, so I don't have it to show you, but, you know, an old case that I have. The phone fits right here, which is, I, I have this iPhone X, um, but it fits in here and it doesn't stick up. So this is like the perfect place to put your phone and it does fit in sideways as well. Like so. I do not have them, oh, sorry. <laughs> 
I, um, it was cutting off. But I do not have the max to see if it fits or not, and I don't know how much bigger it is um, than the iPhone X, but it could quite possibly fit in there. Um, but again, you know, for phones, I know a lot of people just like to, you know, have them like this, and have them sticking up, it's fine. That's a great place to, you know, kind of put it down when you need to. And then finally, I can't go anywhere without my keys, and my driver's license is in the back like so. I know people warn you not to put your driver's license with your keys, but then again, like if they steal everything, then they, they steal everything. So <laughs> I don't think that really makes a big difference. It's the four key, um, um, four ring key holder from Chanel. Love this piece so, so much. Again, amazing. I just put this usually up on top like so because I do my kids run to the car and they're like, mom, open the car. And yeah, I just throw it up there. But, you know, if you're strategic about it, you can put it in here. I'm, I think I'm gonna have to move my boss there to do this. Yeah, but yeah, it fits. It fits fine. I mean, I can just throw things in there. I don't have to like play Tetris and it's all in there. So, so amazing. Um, and when you wear it crossbody, it's it's not heavy. I mean, if you look at the amount of things I put in there, it is a heavy. It is going to be heavy because of the amount of items I have in there. But the bag itself is not heavy. It's super comfortable, and it does not distort the the shape of the bag anyway. And like I said, this flap closure is just so convenient and comfortable and. Um, I know that some people have commented on the lambskin version because you're constantly doing this to the flap that it gets scratches, but honestly, I don't think I would mind that too much. Um, yeah, I don't know. This, because it's in the supple calfskin that's grained, you don't see any marks on it whatsoever. So, I mean, I know I have a really, really great... Um, version of this lady dior but yeah that's everything that fits in there and it's it's everything it's you could even i have my hand cream you can even put this in there still you still have room and you could also put sunglasses on top i don't have glasses with me oh actually i do here are my glasses and even in a case you could just put it on top and it will fit and that's the beauty of this flap it's that you know because it can go either up or down. Like if you wanted, if you didn't have that as many stuff in there and you wanted more security, you can really push it down in there so that it covers your items, right? But then if you added one or two things and this popped up like that, it would still look absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. And I think the design is amazing. So yeah, that's everything that fits into the Dior, Lady Dior in the medium size. Again, I think this is the best size, the best leather. <laughs> and again, I cannot believe I found this. I found this pre-loved in Rakuten Global Marketplace from a Japanese reseller. And if you're curious about that, please check out my unboxing video, which I will link down. Okay, so here are the matchots. First as a top handle. This is what it looks like, and I think it works great, top handle. And then it also works as a crook of the arm type of bag. You can just hang it there. It's amazing. And as a shoulder bag, so for your reference, I'm five foot four and I wear a US size 10 to 12. This is what it looks like on me. This is where it hits me and I think it's perfect. And then finally you can wear it crossbody. And yeah, it hits me at a really, really great spot. If you're thinner than me, then of course it would hit a little bit lower, which I think would work even better. So yeah, that's where it hits me. And then um, I mentioned before that when I wear a crossbody, the charms are on the back and um, I like it. I prefer it to be near the front of my body. And so what I will do is I will just switch the straps up so that it's um, hanging on the same ring as the charms. And quite honestly, I don't think this looks bad at all. I don't think it looks too busy. I think it's just fine like this, um, but when you wear it crossbody, this is where it looks really great because the charms are right there and you see it all the time when you're wearing it from the front. And I think that's 
that's really pretty as well. So yeah, I hope these mod shots really helped you. Again, if you were on the fence about the Lady Dior, I cannot recommend it highly enough, especially in the medium size. And if the fact that it had a zipper opening was what was holding you back from getting a Lady Dior in the medium size, like I told you, they are now gonna discontinue that and change them all to the flaps, which I think is a game changer. So I hope this video helped you guys. And if you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section below. With that said, I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I hope to see you guys in my next one. Take care everybody, bye.